Hello， 大家好。运动场上励志的故事有很多，但最成功的一位绝对非他莫属。巨石强森从 WWE 出身，成功跨进影视圈，并且成为家喻户晓的超级巨星。今天运动狂粉就要带大家一起来听听巨石强森亲自分享他的人生故事。You do that, you can do whatever you want to do. You guys know that. The thing that has worked for me is to remember the hard times. So, and I'm sure you guys all have your processes. And again, I'm going to tell you what's worked for me. So, before a big movie comes out, before back in the days when I was wrestling with WWE, a WrestleMania match. Anything big that would happen, I would always take a moment, and I just remind myself. All right, I was evicted when I was 14. We were kicked off the island. We couldn't live in Hawaii. Had no place to live.、Uh, a lot of shit happened. Then when I moved to Nashville, I was arrested multiple times. By the time I was 16 years old, I gotta remember that,、uh, and it allows me then to be present in the moment and understand. Holy shit, the, the stuff I have around me right now. This is the shit that I dreamed of when I was a kid. I had a Piss poor senior year, zero production, no NFL, no combine invite, nothing. Finally went to the CFL, Calgary Stampeders, making two hundred and fifty dollars a week Canadian. Had no money, so I remember that. When I got cut from Canada, I had seven bucks in my pocket, and I always tell that story. So now my production company is seven bucks, advertising agency is seven bucks, everything is seven bucks. So I always remember that. 巨石强森在迈阿密大学的四年都是美式足球校队，而且一心希望可以进入 NFL。但就在他准备挑战全世界之际，没想到竟然在某一天早上四点钟出门训练的时候，被一个他口中形容二十二到二十三岁的小子开车撞到，伤势严重到他的计划都必须喊停。巨石强森说：“他在心里呐喊，不会吧，这不是我的未来啊！我应该是要去打 NFL。”我应该是要去赚大钱，很可惜这些事情都没有发生。现在他常常提到口袋剩下的七块钱，与他每天四点钟起床训练的这两件事，是他最常用来勉励大家的故事。But the key with me is just always finding what the anchor is, and the fucking anchor is getting up at four o'clock in the morning every day before anybody else, and grounding my thought process is in the no one will outwork me. All starts with this. Two hands, putting it to work. The anchor for me has always been the work in terms of the weight room training. So when I first started wrestling, I was six years old, rolling on the mats with my dad. My old man, a lot of you guys will know this. Yeah, Rocky Johnson. <laughs> my old man was Rocky Johnson. He was the first black WWF tag WWF at that time. First black WWE tag team champions with Tony Atlas back in 1983, and, and I realized if I had to be great at something, I wanted to be great in this world of Hollywood and movie making, and producing and entertainment. I had to commit, and like you guys have to commit. Obviously, you commit to something, commit to the goal, and that's it. And that's what it comes down to with you guys.、Too. One of the keys is remember where you came from. Keep that shit in the front of your mind, and when shit goes bad and it goes sideways, a lot of shit does. You're getting booed out of the fucking building. Or you're coming through this injury, or people are writing you off. Oh, you guys ain't gonna fucking make it. You know any of that shit? You gotta, you gotta keep it in here, you, and it really has to. It should drive you. 看完巨石强森的故事，大家有被勉励到吗？广粉们还有看过什么励志的故事让你印象深刻的呢？欢迎在下面留言，记得订阅运动狂粉频道，也欢迎大家留言和我们分享你的意见。那今天的影片就到这里，我们下次再见，拜拜。